Hey everybody, uh, happy Memorial Day, uh, Monday, if uh, you're one of those people that uh, that uh, has a day off or whatever. I came out to the park here today, I didn't know if I was going to make it or not. Uh, storms again, <clears throat> really, really been rainy here a lot. We got six or seven inches yesterday, streets, roads are flooded. Um, it... Uh, the storm's cleared and the sun is out and uh, it's still mostly cloudy but there's some holes in the clouds so we're getting some sun so figured I'd come out to the park and uh, I'm gonna do up I don't normally do rogue beers I uh, I like rogue beers they're they make a decent decent beer but uh, I think they're overpriced for what you get um, this one was on closeout so I picked it up uh, the normal uh, $7.99 price they pay here is uh, way too much. Uh, I think it was on sale for $3.99 or $4.99. Much more reasonable if they were if they were in that range. Uh, uh, I mean, the Stone Arrogant Mastered sells for $4.99. It's a it's a much better beer than most road beers, I think. But anyway, I'm going to do their Captain Sig's Northwestern Ale. Uh, from the website, it says a style India red ale dedicated to the Hansen brothers, Sig, Edgar, and Norman, the rogues of the Bering Sea. Portions of proceeds of, I guess it used to be called deadliest ale, will support the fisherman's fund. Deep red in color, this ale starts off with a floral, slight, slightly citrus hop note. Hop flavor soon fades into the multi backbone of this red ale. Nine ingredients, uh, malts, two-row pale, Munich, Karastan, and chocolate. Hops, Amarillo, and Cascade. Yeast and water, the usual uh, rogue suspects, uh, rogue Pac-Man yeast and free-range coastal water. Uh, comes in at, um, damn bugs, 6.2% ABV, so let me get this in the glass, see what we have here. Like I said, they, I think they make decent beers, I just think, um, prices that uh, whoa and it just flowed over like you would not believe I don't know what happened it sure should have sure shouldn't have got shook up but anyway I had a had an explosion there got the table soaked but we got a nice ah cloudy dark copper color not a lot of uh, clarity through it uh, Got a couple fingers of a nice, um, almost tan head, real foamy. Looks like it's gonna really leave some, uh, leave some nice uh, lacing down the glass. So let me get a nose on it. Oh yeah, sweet malts uh, come through, through first. It's uh, a little bit fruity. Um, there's some, uh, definitely some pine hoppy notes in there. Uh, underlying. Uh, all the chocolate malts come through. You get some definitely chocolatiness in there. Uh, you get almost like uh, Belgian yeast fruits, raisins, prunes, uh, blackberries. Uh, I don't. I don't think that uh, that Pac-Man yeast is a uh, is a uh, Belgian yeast, but you're getting some of those notes there. That's for sure. Um, getting some hops. Kind of earthy hops, a little caramel. Um, definitely that resiny pine though in there, but it's mostly just malt and the, malt and the pine, bit of chocolate. So uh, let me give it a taste. Uh, like most rogue beers, there's no date on the bottle anywhere that I can see. I'll look closer when I take my break, but uh, I don't see any date, which is a which is a real drawback to to rogue because you never know how long it have been sitting on the shelf. But uh, anyway, let me, uh, let me give it a taste. Okay, yeah, uh, stronger hop flavors, primarily that pine than, than I expected from the nose. Definitely getting that, uh, that chocolatey uh, malt flavor, a uh, little bit of breadiness, um, kind of balances that hoppiness, but there are definitely some... Uh, Definitely some, some more hoppiness than you get on the nose. A little more than I expected, that's for sure. Um, 
getting a little of those dark fruits, the raisins, uh, raisins in particular, maybe the prunes, uh, some of those earthy hop notes. The pine for sure, the pine bitterness, uh, that uh, kind of resiny pine bitterness is there. Um, decent tasting beer um, for red ale, not one of my, uh, well they say India red ale, I don't know what exactly that means, but red ale, brown ale are not two of my favorite, uh, two of my favorite styles of beer, but uh, I try to appreciate them for what they are. Um, seems to be like a medium bodied beer. Uh, leaves it a little bit of a, a film in the mouth, kind of a sweet, um, slightly bitter finish. Um, uh, decent carbonation on the swallow though, it cleans it a little bit, but uh, the hops do stick there, that's for sure, especially those uh, those kind of resiny uh, piney notes. So uh, let me sit, uh, sip on this a while, let it warm up a bit, fight off these damn gnats, and I'll be back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Ah, okay, I'm back. It's been uh, 20 minutes or so. Uh, yeah, overall, this is a nice, uh, drinkable beer. It's got good balance. You, it, primarily, um, like you said, you got the chocolatey malts and the piney hops. Uh, I forgot to mention it is, they do say it's 80 IBUs. Um, how much of that has survived, I don't know, since there's no, uh, no date on the bottle. I don't know how old this is. don't know how old it was sitting on the store shelves before they put it on closeout, but imagine it had been a while so no telling the age of this but um, in this incarnation um, I would probably it's a nice drinkable beer it's uh, like I said primarily malty with with some nice uh, hop resiny uh, bitterness to it uh, primarily the chocolate malts um, like I said you're getting a little of those uh, uh, those fruits uh, the raisins and the prunes but they're, they're there in the background. It's primarily chocolate forward and uh, the piney hops, but uh, it's a decent drinkable beer. Nothing outstanding, nothing to rush out for. Uh, definitely not, I don't think it's worth the $7.99 it was originally. Uh, the $3.99 or $4.99 I paid for it on closeout is probably, probably more reasonable, and they could probably sell a lot more if they'd put a put that kind of price on it normally. I keep talking to the the local beer guy because they're they're way overpriced on most everything um, I can drive to a neighboring town and find a find a six pack for a dollar or sometimes two dollars less for a six or four pack of something so um, anyway I'm gonna give I would probably uh, I would probably it's a decent drinkable beer I would probably give it an eight out of ten but I'm gonna cut a half a point for no date on the bottle and that's what I normally do. I don't normally, uh, no, damn that, normally express that, but um, I do. That's always uh, factored into my review, that and price. So, you know, at $4.99, if you can get it, um, it's worth a shot. Um, I don't think it's worth the $7.99 that at least they charge here locally. But um, good drink of beer. So I'm going to give the Rogue Captain Sig's Northwestern Ale. So you can get a close-up on that. I'm going to give it 7.5 out of 10. Decent drinkable beer. Um, if you like that uh, usual rogue flavor of the Pac-Man yeast, um, you know, they're, they're, they're normal ingredients. Um, you'll like it. Uh, good beer, 7.5 out of 10. Um, I'm not going to rush out and buy another one, that's for sure. So, until next time, everybody, cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.